right now I'm just getting everything ready because I am about to head to Greyhound. Here at the Greyhound here in Cleveland, Ohio. About to make my way down to uh, Columbus. Pretty much start this next chapter. But see, here's the here's the thing, though. The reason why I'm going to this particular orientation is because they was the first, the very first one out of the gate. Well, they looked at my situation and they pretty much overlooked it and said, "Hey, we want to give you a chance." So. When I get down here, I'll find out a little bit more I need to find out at the orientation tomorrow. Well, here it is. Uh, I'm sitting on the Greyhound right now. Very quick. It's, uh, what you said, 150? About, 100, about 150 people going down south on two Greyhounds. So luckily for me, I only got to be on here for like four hours to Columbus. Two hours. Oh, two hours. Two hours to Columbus. Are you sure two hours? Oh, okay, well, she says it's two hours to Columbus. Maybe I, an hour and 45 minutes. Oh, are you sure? Because when I drive down there, it's about three. Well, then what's your speed limit? Oh, well, yeah, the speed limit is about 40, about 45. <laughs> yeah. Uh, made it to the Columbus station, so... Actually, I had a couple of people already ask me if I work here. I'm like, no. <laughs> but I'm waiting on the uh, cab driver right now to come and grab me, swoop me up, take me over to the hotel. Uh, you know, pack a little. Well, I'm not even going to unpack, but, you know, get comfortable, find somewhere to eat, and uh, get ready for tomorrow. And I'll let you guys know about the orientation tomorrow. But anyway, what's up, people? What's up? How y'all doing? What's going on? All right. So I am back with the company that I have chosen to go with. Um, but I'm about to I'm about to give you guys a little insight on how this company does things. So let's start with the fueling. So before I go out, I could have sworn that. I brought some pins with me from JNR Swoogle. That's the company I went with, by the way. And that's the, you know, I might say that a number of times, but I'm not gonna say it too many times. You know what, I probably got it in here. I know I, I should have one. Yep. Always keep some pins. So. Uh, before I get out here and uh, fuel up my truck right quick, a couple of quick things about uh, about the company that I'm working for um, and how they do th and how they do things with their policies and stuff like that. Let me uh, shut the door, and raise up the window a little bit. All right, so basically. Um, Unlike U.S. Express, which is the only company that I can actually compare this company to, uh, being that I haven't been at any other companies but U.S. Express, and U.S. Express is the only one that I can only compare it to. Um, unlike U.S. Express, here you got, uh, when you come to a pilot or a flying J or any other fuel stops, it actually has to be one of the fuel stops that's in this fuel book. They gave they give us a fuel book. So the only places that we can that we're authorized to go to has to be in this book. Okay, so unlike US Express, they give us a fuel card. Uh, they actually give us a debit card. A Visa debit card. It's a U.S. Uh, U.S. Uh, bank debit card. Here they give us a Com Data card. Okay, 
Now, some of you guys, you know, out there are familiar with Com Data cards. I'm not. This is my first time actually getting a Com Data card. So, but basically, it's the same format. You slide. Okay, you slide it in. Punch in your miles. You punch in your your truck number. So yeah, other than that, that is that is you know the difference between the two companies that I came from and how they set up for their fuel. I am glad that I'm back. You know, at first I was on the fence about this company that I'm with. But I want to make it happen. I'm, go I'm going to see where the Lord takes me with this company. I mean, so far, so good. You know, this company is offering me a lot than what any other 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 companies offer. Me. So I'm going to see. I need my book. There it is. Hold on. I'm going. I'm going to see where this company takes me. What's good, everybody? All right. This is uh, my first load out of uh, Jr. Schwuber. I'm running reefer trailers now, so we got to do a pre-trip. Not only on the uh, trailer itself, but on the motor that runs the reefer. The motor that runs, you know, that runs the cooler on the inside of the, tr on the inside of the trailer. Let's get a little closer. So it's running the pre-trip on the motor and it tests 20, about 28 tests. Right now it's on 22. So it's running 22 or 28 tests right now. These right here is the south hours of service, right here. So right now the next one is due 27.50. I hit the hour meter. And right now I'm good. Is that 2027? So I got until 2750 until the next service, and then after that it's 3,000. But uh, yeah, that that was my uh, pre-trip on the uh, on the truck, and uh, what I'll do is uh, probably do a tour this of my is it. truck. This is the inside of my cab right here. Uh, there's the drive camera right there. It's, fa it's uh, forward and out. I'm not too crazy about that at all. Then we got our passes, our pre-pass, easy pass, and best pass. Um, you know, it, it, it's just your basic truck. And then here's all your gauges and air gauges and all that good stuff right here. Then your your regular gauges which is totally different than the kw that i came from one thing that i do like about this uh oh one thing i do like about this is controls that's on the that's on the steering wheel right here is the kicker there's no there's no stick uh stick this is uh this is all buttons drive low neutral reverse and then you got your manual right here and then you and then your shift button mirror heat uh, off-road your hill assist your regen your suspension dump right here I asked him what that was he didn't even know that's about it it, it don't have like I said it don't have a fifth wheel release then you got your other gauges right here, your your uh, service brake gauge and your boost right here, and then you got the bandads. The bandads is just like the uh, 
It's just like the system that was in the KW. And that, that's about it. That's just a quick tour of the truck. I mean, you know, as far as as far as the back goes, like I said, sorry, I, you know, it's a little bit messy. I'm still trying to still trying to get in there, but that's the bunk area right there. Uh, it's a single bunk. I want to say lots of spaces, I guess, but it's not that much space in my opinion. And there's my refrigerator. Uh, the only, like I said, the only thing that didn't come with the truck was the inverter. You had to pay for the inverter. So far, so good. So far, so good. You know, they keeping me running. I have yet to sit. And considering the, the way I'm running, I don't think they're going to sit me too long. You know. So far, they, they, they had me stacked ever since I started. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to get this run on next week's paycheck. But, I will have, or this week's paycheck, I'm sorry. But, I will have this run starting for next week's paycheck. So, next week's paycheck going to be pretty good, I should say.